It is an all too common sight in downtown Jacksonville. People struggling with homelessness and mental illness. It is a costly burden on a system not set up to handle mentally ill offenders. Keith Nelson has more. That is true, but through a collaborative effort backed by the Sheriff's Office, City Council, the State Attorney's Office and the Salzbacher Center, a solution they say is in the works. The first graduating class of the Mental Health Offender Program. Four people invested into turning things around for themselves as countless others work to transform a system that's clearly not working. They rest in areas that the merchants and, and the residents don't want them there, and so they get arrested. Homeless, mentally unstable, and at the core of a costly problem. Every time a person's arrested in, in Duval County, it costs a little under $900 just for the arrest itself. Think about that, $900 would put someone into housing for a whole month. The cost of an unstable system attempting to stabilize unbalanced lives. And there just needs to be some better solution to be able to handle the case. Q M Hop. So we're getting them income, we're getting them housing, and we're getting them mental health help. A nine-month pilot program in the works involving 20 people whose arrests in 2020 totaled $362,000. Since being a part of MHOP, they've racked up a meager in comparison $12,000 bill. And I just hope you all know that you've got all of these people here rooting for you in your corner. Antron Hardwick among the group once cycling through the jail system. Trespasser, a public nuisance, now graduate. So Mr. Hardwick is waiting, he's getting his own house. He's getting a tiny house. I'll be able to do more things for myself. It's, it's a great feeling. Salzbacher's annual fundraiser transformations will be held tomorrow online at noon. I'll be hosting the event, so join us. It'll be a fun time for a great cause. In the Information Center, I'm Keith Nelson, First Coast News on your side.